Okay, I'm back at it again after I took like a big nap, but I was debating on doing like live stream stuff, and I was like, eh, nah, because I kind of would want to put this on YouTube a little bit, so, yeah. Anywho, there's my cat Hugo over there, he's just chilling. It's kind of dark since I have like this, um, light on. Kind of figured I would kind of showcase like what I'm doing on this small piece of paper. Because why not? Um, and I'm not really using pencil at the very moment. Just kind of felt like I wanted to kind of free, free draw a little bit, sort of. And I think, uh, you know, some people have asked me before, like, you know, when I draw, like, how do I go about things? I usually do a lot of gesture work, uh, before I go into, like, final inks and stuff like that. Uh, and that's usually with pencil, of course, but sometimes I'll even, um... You know, I'll lightly draw a pen, and I'll draw real light. As you can see, like, the pressure control is, like, really, 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 um, minuscule. It's not a lot of heavy pressure on it, so. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I, I had a nap, so. A little groggy. And you might hear my cat in the background. Kind of just like climbing around and stuff. And you'll probably hear my dad too signing to his friends in the ASL, so don't mind that. But yeah, you know, um, I think this is interesting because this is the first time I've drawn like any kind of like a. Marvel DC related kind of like uh, stuff in a long time like I mean other than like some of the Hulk drawings I've done from here and there but this is the first time I really like have been drawing this kind of stuff in a way where I'm enjoying it and I think that's just due to the fact that I've been so focused on uh, you know making like create your own content and like trying to you know pump a bunch of stuff out that I could like say is my own and you know hopefully down the road make a living off of it uh you know that kind of stuff takes a lot of time you know what i mean because i think what i've learned over the years and it's not to knock anyone who like draws a uh, fan art and stuff like that it's just you know i'm always concerned that like one day some of these companies will like try to rain down on everybody who like does anything based off of whatever like licensed content of characters and stuff and then suddenly you know, you have to scramble to figure out what to do. So, you know, I figured that's why I kind of uh, focused a lot on making creator own stuff that, you know, down the road I could I could benefit from and have a joy working on however, whenever, wherever. Anywho, you didn't come in for the commentary. You came to see me draw. Uh, I would have had music playing, but I was kind of afraid of, like, copyright, infringement, and stuff like that, because, you know, YouTube is especially uh, on that aspect as well, um, which kind of sucks, because, you know, I like playing music when I'm working on stuff, but since I'm filming this a little bit, it's kind of a little tough to do, so, but you can see I'm showing this whole process. I don't know if I'll be able to finish it within, like, the span of time, but let's say I I probably could finish this maybe in maybe 10 minutes. I'm doing this with a big pen, so I know some people are going to be like, what? What happened to the inks? And I'm like, nah, I, I do that stuff like right after I finalize everything because I like, I like to treat the pen like as if that in and of itself is more or less like a pencil. Yep. I don't know if you guys enjoy awkward silences, so if you do... Great. If you don't, uh, I don't know what to do for you. Usually requires a lot of patience. Uh, but I mean, I hope this guy, this you know, seeing this despite all the self quarantine that's been happening in light of uh, you know, the events that's happening around the world. In regards to the epidemic that we know with a C 
and a V. You know, hopefully it uh, inspires some people to kind of just, you know. <laughs> Sorry, that's a notification. But yeah, man. You know, I don't know. I guess next time around, I'll probably debate. Well, not debate, but like consider doing a, a live stream kind of thing just to kind of get it all flowing. So I guess I'm just going to just now kind of freeform it with the monsters that are like attacking the Avengers and uh, showing like the like infected remnants of these kind of like creatures of a town. When I was thinking about this piece, you know, I knew I wanted to draw something in regards to either the Avengers or the Just League. Like they were the, it was one of those two things in mind. Originally it was going to be a Spider-Man piece, but it eventually boiled down to like, you know, uh, drawing the Avengers. And I think that's because of the fact that even though I love Justice League and I, you know, love those characters and nine times out of ten, I'll usually read the Justice League book more than the Avengers book these days. Uh... There's no denying the fact that the Avengers growing up was always like a big, um, a big series that I always loved reading, because I remember, um, I think it was, uh, Joe Quesada, or somebody, I remember it was in an Avengers sem Assemble, uh, documentary, like, uh, clip, uh, if any of you guys have ever watched Ultimate Avengers, the animated film, based on, like, the Ultimates book, uh, way back in the day, and, uh, you know, if you ever go to the special features option, they show you, like, you know, uh, this Avengers Assemble featurette that showcases, like, some of the, you know, legendary writers and illustrators who worked on that book, like Kurt Busiek or George Perez or, uh, you know, guys who worked on the Ultimates, like Mark Millar and Brian Hitch. And uh, I remember Joe Quesada, I think it was Joe Quesada who was saying that what was great about reading a comic like the Avengers or any team book that had some of your favorite characters was that if you couldn't afford to like you know kind of like I guess like buy a title of each character that you really liked you could have all your favorite characters in one single issue so it was more bang for your buck and you know that was what it was for me it was like very economical for me oh there's a Yuko just trying to see what I'm up to giving me the assistance obviously he wants my attention um yeah, it's like, uh, it was a great kind of a uh, way to save money while also, you know, supporting your healthy uh, hobbies and habits. Or just staying up to date with stories of characters that you really liked and wanted to kind of, uh, you know, follow through and read about. I think the next thing I'll do is probably do a Justice League piece, though, because it's like, I think, for me, I always pride myself in drawing multiple characters on the page a lot, uh, especially when I'm really in the flow of doing that. I always find it kind of uh, cool and fun to do, although sometimes on, you know, bigger pieces of paper, of course, it's a little tiring, but uh, I've always thought it was cool. I think that's just because George Perez always inspired me as a kid um, of drawing like a bunch of characters and having that kind of crazy enthusiasm. Yeah. But you can see like this kind of stuff, man. You know, when people think like this kind of stuff is quick. Like, you know, you do a quick sketch of like, you know, something that's like really quick and easy. You know, that could take like a few minutes, but this type of stuff, even when you're doing like detail, even at a, mo a small scale, can take up a lot of time. Uh, especially when you're trying to make really good lines that, uh, you know, are good and clean enough, I guess. This stuff doesn't usually last long on Instagram. I know they don't do anything like longer than 20 minutes. Well, longer than 10 minutes, to be honest, uh, to be exact. But uh, even for this, I hope that this was, I don't know, something, I guess, that you guys enjoy. I mean, if you guys want to see me do a YouTube series of this stuff, let me know.
all right.